Hello and welcome into the 3D. Today we are going to learn how to create double jump in Unreal Engine by using blueprints. If I press play, you will see that my character cannot jump because we haven't set any inputs. If you already have a jump input, you can skip this step, but I will show you from the scratch. First thing that we will do, go under settings, open the project settings, go under engine and find the input options. Click on that, then find the action mappings, create an input by pressing this plus icon and rename it as jump. This will be our jump input, but we need to assign a specific key for this. I will assign the spacebar, but you can assign any key that you like. So we are done with the project settings and we'll learn how to create action mapping inputs. To be able to use the input, go to your character blueprint, which is this one for me. It is coming with the Unreal Engine's default third person game template. Double click and open the character blueprints. These are some of the default functions such as camera movements, but we need to find an empty space for our jump input. Now right click and call the jump input that we have created, which is this one under the input action events jump. This input simply asking what we want to do when we press and when we release. Let me explain it with an example. From the pressed, call the jump function and from the released, call the stop jumping function. So, when we press the button, it will jump and when we release it, it will stop jumping. I will compile and save it, minimize the screen, then press play. You will see that now the jump function is working without any problems, but we are not able to double jump and this is what we are trying to achieve. So let's go back to the character blueprints and delete the stop jumping function. Open a gap between these two. Then from the press, call the do and function. Maybe some of you used the do once before. Do once basically tell the engine to do it once, but with the do and function, we can decide how many times player can repeat this action. Let's change this integer number. You can set it to any number that you like, but since we want to create a double jump, I will set it to 2. Now from the exit, let's call the switch on int node. And create two pins by clicking on this plus icon. Connect the jump to the first output and disconnect from the default. For the second output, we will call the launch character node. This blueprint system will play the jump function on the first press and if you press it again, it will play the launch character node. Also, we knew that we need to launch the character in the Z direction, so we need to assign a value to the Z. I will go for 800, but you can always play around and see which number is better for your project. Also, I will enable the Z overwrite. To be able to make this blueprint work, we need to create one more node from the counter of the do n. Type minus, get the subtract node and connect the output to the selection input, then set this number to 1. So we have connected everything and we are ready to test the blueprints. Compile, save and minimize this screen. Press play and you will see that now I can double jump 
but I cannot repeat this action. This is because in the character blueprint we are telling the engine to do it this much but after that we are not telling to reset this. So we need to find a way to reset this one and for this there is really good function called event on landed. What this basically does is we are telling the engine we can jump twice if we press two times to our input key but if we land to a surface, reset the do end node and that gives the player ability to jump again. Compile and save, minimize the screen and you will see that now I can double jump and I can do it as much as I want. This was how you can create double jump by using blueprints in Unreal Engine and in the next video I will explain how you can create double jump without using blueprints. So, if you like the tutorial and want to see more content on this channel, please comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.